this is just a quick video to show you how to install NetBeans 10 uh, because it's a little bit quirky now as well as how to add the uh, C and C++ functionality to it because that is not at all intuitive um, or easy to discover if you don't know what you're looking for especially if you're new to this like I am so uh, first thing you want to do is open up your browser go to netbeans.org just like you see here it's going to bring you up to this page and you just click on download but it's not going to just show you a simple little thing to download like a little installer where you can select the functionality you want uh, you got to click the download button here on NetBeans 10 it's going to bring you to this page which is going to explain uh, you just download the binaries and unzip so click that file download your binaries I've already done that so I'm not going to do it again I'm just going to drop this over here on the desktop so I can show you what it looks like uh, so once you download it you're going to get this incub incubating NetBeans 10.0 10 binaries folder you just want to extract that so you want to extract it desktop is fine for now it's going to take a little while because it is large so we will come back to this as soon as this is done alright so once it's done extracting you open up this folder and you're going to have this little folder inside that just says NetBeans you don't really need this outside folder what you want is this internal folder I suggest you just move that into your root drive just drag and drop onto your C drive then I'll copy it there I've already done it once you've got it here it's going to show up it's just going to say NetBeans I've already renamed mine but uh, you want to click on this and rename it to NetBeans underscore 10.0 just for simplicity's sake now you go into this folder you want to go into the bin let's uh, binaries folder and you're gonna see you won't see the shortcut in there that was something I did we don't need that most people are running a 64-bit operating system so that's the one that you're gonna want if you're not sure if you have a 32-bit or 64-bit operating system click down here type about you'll get this about your PC open that up and it'll open up a window that's going to show you uh, exactly what you have it also gives a bunch of private information about your computer so I'm not going to open that up right now but anyway you double click this thing and it will open up NetBeans here we go I don't like doing any of that um, so it's going to open it up usually it opens up on this page a uh, little learn and discover tab not very important we're just going to um, so now, in NetBeans 8, you come up to File, hit New Project, and that will give you the option, Java, JavaFX, HTML, all these different things, but it used to have C and C++ in here, apparently. Uh, it didn't have it whenever I had this thing. This is the first version of NetBeans I've ever used, so I got here and I was like, well, where is it? Uh, it's not there. So I'm thinking, okay, I know I've got plugins up here. Go to Tools and Plugins. It's going to initialize your list of plugins. Click your availables. Uh, you scroll down and look for anything that says C++, and there's nothing in here. What the f, right? Well, here's the trick. You come to the settings tab. You've got this NetBeans 8.2 plugin portal. It lets you uh, download the plugins from NetBeans 8. So enable that. Now come back over here. Check for newest. I've done that already. And now. We got C, C++ right there. So we we'll enable that. We're going to click install. Install the selected plugin. Yep. Accept. Lots of things. Of course, we accept them all. No, it's going to go through this. Okay. All done. We click continue. It keeps going. Alright. I finish. Close it out. New project. Still not in there, so... There it is. C++. So, there you go. I just spent an hour trying to figure out how to make C++ work on NetBeans 10. Uh, it was incredibly annoying to me, so I figured I'd make this quick video show you how to do this. So, there it is. Good luck with your learning. <laughs>